you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Crazy. What are you doing, Rose? Huh? What you doing? You coming out? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> All right, y'all, so I made it out. Ooh, I got to put some WD-40 on that. Gonna eat a little breakfast. Sausage cheese balls. And I'm gonna finish my Dr. Pepper. Had a pretty good little hunt this morning. That's the first time I've sat in that, uh... In that ladder stand. For, had a, that was a really fun hunt. I don't know, I saw about 10 or 11, I think. All of them I couldn't get on video. Mostly all does and little ones. I finally did see a buck. Got just got a glimpse of him and barely got to get my binoculars on him. But it was a uh, piebald deer. Uh, for those y'all don't know what a piebald deer, deer is, it's part white. He had a lot of white on him. Looked like a three or a four point. We have seen a few of them over the years here, and I'm hoping I make sure we go back there. We're gonna get that dude on video. I would love for him to make it and get to be a big old 10 point piebald deer. All right, I'm gonna eat breakfast real quick. All right, y'all, so for four, I get started on my work. I come out a little early today because we got a lot we got to do. I had a comment the other day here a while back sometime, and I about forgot about it, and they was asking me what I wear during the cold weather. Since it was cold today, I was going to show y'all. Of course, I'm about bald-headed, so I always got some kind of bogging or something on because that's where the heat's going to leave. It's going to leave your head. And uh, a lot of times I wear these mittens, Thinsulate mittens, and what I've found, and it's kind of tricky doing this filming now because I, I can't hardly do anything with big gloves. So a lot of times I'll take, I call them these brown mules, put them on the inside of them. If I'm not doing anything, I leave them like that. And then when it's time to film or shoot or something, I'll roll them back like that. Them work out really good, especially if you got to ride the bicycle or ride a four-wheeler or something. Them do pretty good, and they're quiet too. I didn't have them on this morning, I'll show y'all why. All right, this morning, I just had my regular old pair of brown mules, we'll call them on. And I got these things a couple of years ago, and y'all know, I've been, as I stayed so busy with the customers that I didn't hunt a whole lot, especially out of these ladders and lock-ons. But I ordered these things. You know, they make the little hot hands thing. They work really good. And I decided to order these things a couple of years, last year or sometime. It's called, uh, they're ham warmers, but it's made by Celestron. Can y'all see that? Celestron elements. Anyway, it's got a flashlight. I think it's even got a place where you can charge your phone if you need it. But them thing, I keep two of them. Cut them things on. Sitting there. And this jacket I wear, I'll tell y'all about it in a minute. It's got deep pockets. You can just get down in there with your gloves on or without them. I usually wear that thin pair of gloves. So when you come out and it's real cold and you got to film or shoot or whatever, you don't get freezing. Because my hands do not circulate like they used to. So that's my hand warmers, that's the hand stuff and the head stuff. All right, got some stuff in this pocket. So this is the jacket that I wear. I usually got a pocket right there, I got my phone still in there. Oh, um, this jacket, of course, it's made by Kuyu. I like, Brian got me on this Kuyu stuff. He's been wearing it for a long time and I got to fool him with it a couple years ago and I really like it. This jacket is super, super light and super warm. This is, if I pronounce it right, Kane Ultra. K-E-N-A-I, Ultra. It's not down, it's kind of a synthetic type deal, but it's pretty quiet. You can't hardly hear it. That's why I got the jacket in that. I'm getting cold without that already. All right, that's my jacket. And a lot of times, of course, I had an orange vest on this morning. I usually wear a hoodie or something. This stuff is all about layering. 
I was good this morning. I just got a long sleeve shirt up onto this and a hoodie. But what I like the most, I'm gonna turn y'all down where y'all can see, is these pants. These pants are called Super Down. And I'll tell you what I like about them. And one thing about this jacket, these two layers, is they, the, the uh, Super Down jacket will fold up more packable than this. But I mean, it'll get down there tight. So the biggest problem that you might have, or I have, if you walk a long way going in, especially in the early afternoon, you get hot. All the clothes I used to wear were pretty bulky and they were hard to pack. So that's what I like about this. I can throw it in my backpack. I always carry a backpack with me, a little junk in it. Biggest reason is for my camera arm and my tripod. So that's the jacket. All right, here's the pant. These are super down pants. They're a little bit, a little bit noisier, but the one thing I like about them is they fit. They fit good, so you can move a little bit in the stand and not make much noise if you're trying to shoot your bow or whatever. But these things, they Velcro on the side and they zip all the, the full length. Right, I'm, the way I do it, I Velcro that. Unzip them all the way down. I leave that Velcro. These are not anything that you want to walk in the briars with. And the only reason I got them on is because I did. I rode my bike in this morning and uh, didn't walk far, and it's pretty cold. They're really nice riding that bike. But I always take them where I can put them back together. I don't zip them. I just Velcro them back. It's just super, super light. But you can take these things. This is the Kuyu Super Down. A lot of people don't think Kuyu's got stuff for the whitetail hunter. They got it. But one thing I'm gonna tell you too, this camouflage looks a little different and it's not advertised for like in a tree and stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, the deer with the, this is the, uh, what do they call this? I can't even remember the camo now. The green I got, like these pants are verde. This is vice, vice, they call this vice. But look how small that is. I mean, if I wanted to, I could put it in my Carhartt pocket right there in my pullover. But I usually got them in my backpack all the time. If it's a little cool going in, I'll keep my jacket on. If it's a little warm, I'll just go ahead and put this and my jacket in my backpack when I get there, I'm there. Neither one of these, y'all won't hardly ever see me working in this stuff, pretty much doing anything because it will snag the briars and anything will snag it. But sitting in a tree, everything's good. But what is good, this stuff, it's all about layering. These pants here is called their guide pants. I got guide pants, a vest, and a jacket. These things right here are tough as car hearts. They're lightly fleeced on the inside. They're not just super warm at 40, 45, 50 degrees. They're perfect depending on how heavy a long john you put on up under them. But that's my cold weather stuff right there. And down here in the south, make sure y'all can see, it's always wet and muddy. The cross knee boots is what I wear and they are the warmest. You could probably get a super pack boot that might be a little warmer these are 800 grams of Fensilate. I've had these things for a long time. They tough as nails. And I've also got a pair of 1200s. If it gets really, really cold, I put the 1200s on. And they're pretty good. I mean, your toes will get a little cold, cool, but nothing like just that unbearable. And you keep your feet dry because it's going to get wet down here in Mississippi and Alabama. It's going to stay that way most all deer season. So forgot who commented about the uh, cold weather stuff, but that's what I wear. Brian got me hooked on that stuff. I've got some browning stuff, some wool stuff. I like my wool and all, but it, it's a little heavy. I get used to wearing this light, lightweight Kuyu stuff, and if it's lighter, you're going to sweat less, and it just 
it's just comfortable. They got some good stuff. So don't ever think you can't wear it because of the camo or they advertise it for sheep hunting or something for deer hunting around here because I turkey hunt in it. Y'all know how close them turkeys. And them deer this morning, they looked right up at me and they just like they looked right through me. I, I love the camouflage. I think some of that other camouflage these days, you look like a big black dot up in the tree, but they just look right through this stuff. All right, I'm going to get rounded up. We got some work to do. All right, y'all, I'm running around filling some feeders up. If y'all remember, where we moved that feeder the other day, I didn't move it but about 10 or 15 yards over here and hadn't been back in here. But it ain't nothing but deer tracks. We have worked on the pigs. I know they're spread out a little bit due to other people feeding around us, but... Nothing but deer tracks. We gotta be doing some good. All right, this is where we moved that other one from. Just a little bit of hog sign here. It's not just too bad, not like it was. Not really any fresh hog tracks, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on it though. Hey right, y'all, had a pretty good little morning hunt. Saw quite a few deer. Run around, check some feeders, looking for hog sign. Just absolutely very little hog sign, which is great because I really don't want to be fooling with them too much now. I am gonna pull one of the traps out and, and move it over here. And there's one little spot where there's rooting every once in a while around the feeder. And uh they put it up there and just kind of watch it. It don't hurt nothing sitting there. But we hadn't been getting any action at the others. And me and Pete's got four sausage balls left. And a little bit of Dr. Pepper. We're going to work on them. And we got to head back to Alabama and do a few things.
roll the hay out to the mules and horses and this hay right here am i still on yeah this hay right here is what i used to feed the deer when i had them in the breeding pens and since they're not in there no more i'm gonna feed it to the mules and horses as a little extra boost it's uh like 16 and a half 17 percent protein is half alfalfa and half orchard grass and they like it a lot better than that regular bermuda and stuff Alright y'all, I'm gonna run over here, fill this water trough up for the mules, and then I 